Hey, Shalom. Before I get started, I want to say, call her Lion Laya, Hawa, Bashim, Yahweh Shai, Bashim, Racha Kodash, which means give our praises to the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, and His only begotten Son, Yahweh Shai, which is our Lord and Savior, and to the Holy Spirit. The Thumb, Ashanah, Kabbalah, Hazukarim, Shadas, Allah, which means give the bonus to the elders of Israel, which is the apostles and elders of Great Menstone, who teach them well, and Shalom, Wa Ahab, Laha, Bachaya, Shadas, Allah which means peace and love to the leg of his will and come back again through the spirit power of Yahweh Ba'ashim Yahweh Shai Ba'ashim V'chakodash Adam Bora Anah from Jimmy Smith's camp and um just coming with a quick lesson and um uh, probably just name it truly in vain is salvation of hope for from the heaters you know it's like it too I'm a little under the weather you know so um so um just let the scriptures do the talking Lord will this lesson be here to find two let so I'm gonna start with Jeremiah <clears throat> three twenty-three. It said truly in vain is salvation and hope for from the hills and from the multitude of mountains. So for you heathens, you know, you represent the hills and multitude of mountains, man. And salvation is is in vain for y'all, man. Salvation is not for y'all, it's only for the Israelites, the children of Yahshua Allah, the so called Negroes, blacks, Hispanics, Latinos. And Native American Indians, man. And wherever Israel been scattered to whose spirit goes back to Israelite. You see? He is the uh he is the power, he is the God of the Israelites, man. He is our God, man. So we just getting truly in vain, <clears throat> truly in vain and salvation are hoped for from the hills and from the multitude of mountains, man. Truly in the Lord, our power is the salvation of Israel, right? Cause you heathens, you worship idols, man. You know, so that that's a vain thing in, in itself. An idol is is something vain. You thinking uh, Allah, or uh, Shiva, the Hindus, God, Buddha, uh, go save? Hey, that's vanity, man. It said the gods of the nation are, are idols. Let's get Psalms ninety six. I want to say five. Psalms ninety yeah, Psalms ninety six. Let's start at four. For the Lord Yahweh, by Shimei Shah is great. And greatly to be praised, he is to be feared above all gods. Right, he is to be feared above all gods, man. You see, for all the gods of the nations are idols, right? They ain't nothing but idols. But the Lord Yahweh Shai made the heavens, right? Our Lord created heaven and earth, which you live in. You live on this planet. But what did your pagan gods do? Nothing. They are idols. So this, you no. Know, let's look it up. This idol is all are y'all are y'all. It means the outline make the usage of not good for nothing, right? <laughs> your your idols are good for nothing. Wolfless, right? Wolfless, false gods. Come on, man. It's the strong's definition. Good for nothing. Pretty much what it is. Vain, vanity. Come on. Specifically, an idol. No value. Thing of not right? Good for nothing, man. So truly in vain is salvation hopeful from the heathen, man. You thinking your God, your false God will come save you. That's vain. That's a vain hope. Come on, man. Let's get another one. Psalms 115. I started on. Uh, I started two. Let's start one. Not unto us, O Lord, not unto us. But unto thy name give glory for thy mercy and for thy truth's sake, right? Unto his name, Yahweh Shemoshah. Wherefore should the heathen say, where is now their God? But our God is in the heavens. He had done whatsoever he pleased, you see. Their idols, they false gods, are silver and gold that woke a man's hand. They have mouths, but they speak not. Eyes have they. But they see not. They have ears, but they hear not. Noses have they, but they smell not. They have hands, but they handle not. Feet have they, but they walk not. Neither speak they through their throat. They that make them are like unto them. So it's everyone that trusts in them. You see. So these false gods is BS. You know, and the Lord coming back to destroy all these false pagan gods, man. That's the time we reign on, man. Let's jump to Isaiah 19 real quick. <clears throat> it said, the burden of Egypt, 
Isaiah 19 and 1, the burden of Egypt and America is spiritually called Sodom and Egypt. You know, in Revelation 11 and 8. So this is the new Egypt that we in now, America, bondage. Behold, the Lord ride upon a swift cloud, you see? And that swift cloud is what the so-called UFO, a chariot, man. And should come into Egypt, where right? he going to come into this Egypt, you know, on a swift cloud. Because the Lord said, what? Well, behold, I come quickly and every eye. Let's get that. Revelation. <clears throat> Revelation 1 and 7. Behold, he coming with clouds. And every eye should see him, right? Everybody going to see our Lord and Savior, which is a dark-skinned man from the tribe of Judah, a so-called black man, you know? He said, every eye should see him. And they also was pierced away. And our Lord pierced 2,000 years ago. So this speaking about what? Reincarnation. You know? Back in the flesh. And they also was pierced And all kindreds of the earth shall well because of him. Even so to wob. So every, every eye should see him, man. He coming back on a swift cloud, man. Going back to Isaiah. <clears throat> Salaki. He said, on the bottom of Egypt, behold, the Lord ride upon a swift cloud. And should come into Egypt. And the idols of Egypt should be moved in his presence, right? These false gods, these idols gonna be taken out the way. You know, it's saying that day his name should be one. You know? <laughs> it said, um, and the idols of Egypt should be moved in his presence, and the heart of Egypt should melt in the midst of it. And that's what we reign on, man. For the Lord to do away with these false gods, you know. That's what I'm waiting on. I want everybody, including myself, which I'm doing now through the Spirit Power Yahweh Shemashah, to, hey, I want everybody to worship and bow down to Yahweh Shemashah. No more bowing down to Allah. No more bowing down to Jesus Christ, worshiping, praying to Him. That's an idol. And and, and our people are stuck on that uh, delusion. That, that's a strong delusion our people are still under, man. Plantation Christianity, man. You see, I want the kingdom of heaven to come to the Lord. No, let's get this. Zephaniah, Zechariah. <clears throat> Man, this is Zechariah. Maybe Zephaniah. Let me see his name. <clears throat> Zechariah 14 and 9. <laughs> it's saying the Lord should be king over all the earth. That's why I want. You know, one one power. I want a new world order. And that's yeah how we're about to my shot new world order, man. You know? It said in that day should there be one Lord and his name one. Right. His name one. It said in the NLT, and the Lord will be king over all the earth. On that day there will be one Lord, his name alone will be worshipped. That's what I want. Only the Lord, I want everybody to worship Yahweh my shot, man. They're going to be a beautiful thing, man. Everybody bowing down and worshiping the true God of the heaven and earth. Because right now, it's a bunch of confusion. You got atheists. I want to see. I hate this go bow down, man. Come on, man. <laughs> you see? So, right. But salvation is for the Israelites, man. We know salvation is not for you heathens. Salvation is damn sure not for you either, man. Y'all are less than the heathens. Y'all are heathens yourself, but y'all are less. Y'all, you know? It says salvation is far from y'all. Let's get that. Psalms 119, 155. Psalms 119, 155. Salvation is far from the wicked. Right? Salvation is far from the wicked. For they seek not that statutes. Right? They seek not the law, statutes, and commandments of Yahweh but you shot, man. It say, uh, y'all should think to change talents and laws. The most high not in all your thoughts. Psalms 10. And for the wicked through the pride of his countenance would not seek after the most high. Although you swear in on the Bible every four years, you say, in God whom we trust, that's a lie. Your God is saying. You know? You're not seeking after the true God of the, uh, out of the Bible, the God of Israel. You know? It said the wicked through his pride. <laughs> of his countenance would not seek after Yahweh Shemoshah. The Most High is not in all his thoughts, right? They seem to think that God is dead, like I say in the NLT, man. <laughs> you know what? This is came to mind, Job 21. Let's start at 14. Job 21, 14. Therefore they say unto the Most High, 
depart from us. For we desire not the knowledge of thy ways. We see this day in, day out. Every day that we wake up, <laughs> you know, to go uh, clock, in for, uh, clock in for him, man. Every day, man. I don't watch the decrees being passed. They don't desire the knowledge of Yahweh Shemar Shah, this Bible. That's why the Lord said what? Psalms 50. I come back to this. Psalms 50 and uh, 16. But unto the wicked. And we know the wicked is who? The Edomites. You know? Malachi 1 and 4 tell us that y'all are the wicked. I'm going to get that next. But unto the wicked, the most I said, what has thou to do to... to it's like you. <sighs> but unto the wicked, the most I said, what has thou to do to declare my statutes, or that thou shouldest take my covenant in thy mouth? Seeing thou hatest instruction, and casting my words behind thee, and say what? You treat my words like trash, like trash in the NLT, man. You know? So, right, so let's get that in Malachi. So, salvation is far from y'all. Malachi 1 and 4. This whole chapter good. And it's saying the same thing in Romans 9 to 13. Nothing. <laughs> come on. It said, whereas Edom said, let's start at 3. And I hated Esau. The most I hate you devils, man. Y'all created, the most I created y'all to be the wicked. Proverbs, Proverbs 16 and 4. It said, and I hated Esau. Malachi 1 and 2. I have loved you, said the Lord. Yet you say, wherein has thou loved us? Was not Esau Jacob's brother, said the Lord? Yet I love Jacob, and Jacob's name will change to Israel. The most I love us, we his most are we his chosen people. You know? <laughs> he love us, man. He said, and I hated Esau, right? And the Lord said he the same today forever yesterday, man. He changes not. So the most I hate you devils. He hate either he hated Esau and laid his mountains and inheritance waste for the dragons of the wilderness. Whereas Edom said we are impoverished. But we will return and build the desolate place. And this is what during his renaissance period, man. The we both, right? Thus said the Lord of hosts. They should build, but I would throw down. And they should call them the border of wickedness. So y'all are wicked. You know, wherever you go, wicked, wickedness follow your ass, man. It said uh, transgressions were multiplying the earth. What's the, uh, what's the first Maccabees, the first chapter? You know, it said they, uh, they should call them the border of wickedness. <clears throat> The border of wickedness of the people against whom the Lord had in the nation forever, man. The most I hate you devils, man. As the Lord ain't come back to save you, man. He ain't saving no Edomite, man. He coming to destroy Edomites. Well, prophecy, Isaiah the sister third chapter, man. I don't got to get it. Get on your own. You know, so let's go back to that Job. 21 and 14. He said, what well, a fool has said in his heart, there's no God. Because Esau don't believe in the Most High. He believe in his science. He think he is God, man. This nigga said we can make God a man as, long, as much as we can. We got our own water now. Like, what the fuck do that mean? That don't mean nothing. He can cut that off too. Come on, man. He said, therefore, they say unto the Most High, depart from us. Right, get away from us. We don't care about the God or, or the Bible. We just use the Bible to to uh, instill uh, fear um, um, amongst the people, man. Come on. It said, depart from us, for we desire we desire not the knowledge of thy ways. What is the Almighty? That we should serve him, you see? And what profit shall we have if we pray unto him, man? And, and the scripture said, the, the most high not hearing, the, um, not hearing um, the wicked prayers, man. Let me see, can I find that? I want to say in the Proverbs as well. Let me see. <clears throat> Proverbs 15, 29. The Lord is far from the wicked, but he hears the prayer of the righteous, man. You see? Proverbs 15, 8. The sacrifice of the wicked is an abomination to the Lord, but the prayer of the upright is his delight, man. So that's pretty much it on that, man. We know the salvation. Let's get that. John 4 and 22. It said, you watch, and this the Lord was talking to this heathen woman, the Samaritan woman, you know, who was a heathen, basically cussing her ass out, letting her know, man. You know, let's start to one. Your I said unto her, woman, believe me, the hour coming when you shall neither in this mountain nor yet in Jerusalem worship the Father. You worship, you know now what? We know that 
<laughs> we know what we worship for salvation is of the Jews. Why salvation is strictly for the Jews. And Jews is short for Judah, Benjamin, and Levi, man. Salvation is only for the Israelites. You know? And, and, and that's plain, man. You see, he is, the, he, he is our power, man. Let's get Luke real quick. Luke uh, 1, let's start at 6 to 7. Luke 1, 6 to 7. And his father, Zacharias, was filled with the Holy Spirit and prophesied, saying, he prophesied, speaking before, right? What did he say? Blessed be the Lord, God of Israel. Right, God of Israel, man. For he had visited and redeemed his people. Right, his people, man. He didn't say everybody. He didn't say the heathens. You know, he said his people. And who is the Lord people? Israel. The Israelites. God of Israel, man. What Matthew 2 and 6. Out of these should come a governor that should rule my people Israel, man. So the Lord come back to redeem his people only, man. His people only. You know, I know something in it, but this just came to mind. I'm in it right here. Psalms 137. <clears throat> It said, let Israel hope in the Lord. Right? Our hope is in the Lord, Yahweh's my shot, who created heaven and earth. You know? It said, for with the Lord there is mercy, and with him is plentiful redemption. Exactly, man. Not in no idol. Not in Esau Edom. Not in this life, this present life. Not, not in ourself. Our hope is in Yahweh's my shot. Stone with the elect. You see? It said, and he... Should redeem Israel from all his iniquity, right? For all his sins, man. Because this is my covenant unto them. Like it say in Romans the 11 chapter, man. Out of Zion, Romans, <laughs> Romans 11, 26. And so all Israel should be saved. He didn't say the whole entire world. It said all Israel, every Israelite, man. But the two thirds on this side, they're going to be cut off and die and come back in the kingdom of heaven good. And they write mine. And so all Israel should be saved. It's, it's written that should come out of Zion, the deliverer. It should turn away ungodliness from Jacob. Why ain't it say to the whole planet, to everybody in the world? Why ain't it say to the heathens? You see? It said he should turn away ungodliness from Jacob. For this is my covenant unto them, when I should take away their sins. And this is our hope. So with that, I hope you was edified. Once again, give our praises to you. How will Bashim and how Shai? By Shiva Chakodash, the bonus to the apostles and elders of great millstone, who teach them with real peace and love to the left with that shalom. Kormash Allah, wa ababab.